Good day everyone, you're watching Great You Fixes. On this video, I'm going to uh, discuss about the steps what you can try in case if your Excel stops responding, if it hangs, freezes or stops working. Now, now there are a couple of instances which you can try to fix this problem. The first and foremost step what you can try in case if your Excel stops responding or um, if you're not able to open Excel is to check if you have any multiple instance of Excel uh, running on your computer. Now, the best thing is either way, either you can go ahead and restart your computer. Otherwise, uh, what you can also do is you can go ahead and check the task manager and see if there are any multiple uh, tasks running. So all you have to do is you will have to do a right click on the task manager or on the task bar on your computer. Go to uh, click on task manager. Under task manager, you will have to click on details and look for any Excel um, applications which are or services which are running on your computer in my case since i have excel open i have one instance of excel running now there might be a situation that you might have a clicked on excel icon multiple times and you would see a multiple um, excel resources running so what you can do is you can do a right click and click on end task and click on end process for all the instances uh, and that should end all the Excel uh, resources and um, then try to open Excel. Uh, and like I said, you can go ahead and try to restart your computer. That should also kill all the resources or uh, so, uh, Excel instances running on your computer. Now see if this step work. In case if this step doesn't work, um, the next step what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and try to open the application in safe mode that is excel application in safe mode so what you're doing with this is when you're trying to open the application in safe mode you're disabling all the third party uh, applications or third party add-ons which are associated with excel so uh, to do that what you will have to do is you will have to click on search or you can press windows and r key on your keyboard to open the run window or else you can click on search and in the run window you can go ahead and type run as soon as you uh, type run click on run and that should open the run window in the run window you will have to go ahead and type excel space forward slash safe i will put this command in the video description you can also take it pick it up from there and click on ok and in case if you are able to open Excel in application safe mode, which means that um, there is some third party add ons which is causing a problem. So basically, if you are able to open Excel in application safe mode, at the top of the application, you would see that uh, it is in safe mode right in this section. It says Microsoft Excel parentheses safe mode. So this is an indication that there could be a third party add-in which is causing a problem or it could be a printer which is causing a problem so uh, the, for the first step in order to disable the third party add-ons what you will have to do is you will have to click on file at the top left corner click on options under options go to add-ins under add-ins uh, from the manage add-in types click on com add-ins and click on go go ahead and disable all the uh, add-ons which are listed here so in my case i have a couple of add-ins here which are listed so what i'm going to do is for the demonstration purpose i'm going to uncheck everything and click on ok and uh, once you do this what will happen is you're uh, in fact disabling all the third party add-ins which are associated with excel and um, now you can try to open excel so in case um, if you are able to open excel well and good um, you are uh, this is you're sure that the uh, third party applications were causing a problem to identify which application or which add-on was causing a problem you can repeat the steps uh, by disabling the add-ons you can try disabling um, one step one application at a time and identify what is causing a problem using a divide and conquer method now in case uh, if disabling third party add-ons is uh, fix the problem you're well and good you don't have to try the next step uh, in case if it doesn't fix the problem what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and disable the print spooler at times there are instances that your print spooler application or the print application might also cause a problem so to do that to disable print spooler what you can also do is um, you will have to uh, click on search and in the search box you can go ahead and type services 
dot msc and uh, hit enter or click on services so this will open up all the services which are running on the computer so this been uh, so in this section you will have to look for print spooler so it would be in alphabetical order you can type p and that should take you to the print spooler services what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click and go to properties click on stop click on apply and then click on ok do not close the services window try to open excel and see if that works in case um, after disabling a principal or if you are able to launch excel it is an indication that your printer is causing a problem so what you can do is you can try to change the default printer uh, till you have um, fixed the printer issue otherwise uh, what you can also do is you can try to download and install the uh, uh, latest printer driver for your uh, printer so th this should fix a problem so even after uh, disabling print spooler if you're not able to launch excel uh, then the next step what you can try is you can try to repair office so go to search and type uh, app viz dot cpl that should uh, take you to the programs and features window or add or remove programs window so on this section you will have to go ahead and uh, select the office which has been installed on your computer so click on change in case if you get user access um, prompt you may click on um, the online repair so you can try quick repair this shouldn't take a long time um, however my recommendation is to go ahead and do the online repair so what this will do is um, this will go ahead and uh, fix all the corrupted files in case if there are any corrupted files on the computer it would go ahead and replace those files and uh, um, that should fix the problem in case if you don't have the internet connection you can go ahead and uh, go ahead with the quick repair click on repair this should take about uh, 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of the computer so this should ideally fix the problem so even after in spite of trying all these steps in case if you're not able to open excel then I, what i would suggest you is to go ahead and try to install the latest update so in case if you are able to able to open excel in application safe mode uh, what you can do is you open excel in application safe mode by clicking on run and type excel space forward slash safe click on file click on account and uh, click on update now so this what this will do is it will go ahead and install the latest updates for your office so ideally this should fix a problem in so these are the couple of steps what you can try to go ahead and fix uh, the excel issue i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day